Hello dear students, this is the third lecture of transposons and we will be discussing retro transposons in this lecture. So uh, as we have already discussed, transposable elements in eukaryotes are divided in two groups. One group is structurally similar to transposable element in bacteria ending with short inverted repeats and transposing as DNA. So for this we have already discussed ACDS elements in maize uh, in detail in part 2 of transposon video lecture. The other group comprises retro transposons and they are uh, they use RNA intermediates and are similar in structure and movement to retroviruses. So retro transposons are evolutionarily related to retroviruses. Retro transposons also generate direct repeats at the point of insertion. Examples are of transposable elements in eukaryotes are TY elements in yeast, copy elements in Drosophila and LO sequences in humans. So retro transposons, they are class 1 transposable elements. Retro transposons possess direct terminal repeats and transposes through RNA intermediate. They generate direct flanking repeats at their point of insertion in DNA. Retro transposons do not encode transposase. They produce reverse transcriptase and transposition occur when transcription uh, produces RNA intermediate which is then transcribed into DNA by reverse transcriptase and inserted into tra target site. So retro transposons are nothing but a way of reverse transcription and then uh, they are inserted in DNA. So examples are TY elements in yeast and LO sequences in humans. Trans retro transposons are not found in prokaryotes. So just remember this that retro transposons are found in only eukaryotes and not and they are not found in prokaryotes. So characteristics of two major classes of transposable genetic elements you can see here this is from peers. So class one is your retro transposon which are long terminal direct repeats and they have short flanking direct repeats at target sites. Genes which are encoded by class 1 retro transposons are reverse transcriptase gene and sometimes others and where is this transposition by RNA intermediate examples are TY in yeast copia in drosophila and LO in human. Now transposable elements which are present in humans these are in eukaryotic organisms there are DNA sequences which are repeated thousands of times and makes up a large function of eukaryotic or organisms. Now these examples include signs and lines. Signs are what is the full form of sign? Short interspersed sequences. Its best example is LO family which is 300 base pairs long. In if sign is inserted by chance in a genes, it will ultimately lead to a genetic disorder. Lines are longer and these are long interspersed sequences. That is why they are lines and their size range between uh, more than 200 to 1000 base pairs. Some of these are similar to transposons and retro transposons. And most of the retro transposons in humans are present in inactive state. So this is the life cycle of a retrovirus and this is given in peers. You can refer peers for this. And these are the retro transposons, um, the diagrams of retro transposons which are compared TY in yeast, copia in drosophila and human line. This is not given um, specifically in your course and so you can refer Griffiths and Pierce to understand this. So here you in Griffiths picture you can see 
that our transcription is uh, uh, because of the transcription our RNA is formed and then uh, this RNA by the reverse transcriptase a DNA is formed and then this gets inserted into donor DNA uh, so this is how retroactivism works so I hope you have understood it and this is uh, this has to be done br very briefly for your uh, exam because it is not specifically given in your syllabus so thank you students we will be meeting in next lecture now